Hello guys, uh, welcome to another video. So we're going to be looking at task 13e. The question says, open the file task 13d, add the following text to the end of the uh, document as a new uh, paragraph. All right. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to copy this guy. So uh, copy that, control C, and then open my task uh, 13 D, yeah. So at the end of the documents, I want to right click and then paste this right here. Okay, so that's another paragraph. So the next question there is uh, below this uh, text, add a table, uh, a table like this, right? So the table contains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight rows and uh, three columns, right? So let's um, let's add the, the table. Before we do that, let's first of all let's save as thirteen uh, e. Let's save this task as thirteen as thirteen e, and then okay that. So before we do that, let's bring down our cursor. As you can see, our cursor is blinking here. So let's bring it down. And then uh, go to insert. So we want to insert, uh, go to table from table one to uh, click on insert table. Then our column is three, three columns, and then we'll have about eight rows. So we can click on that. Mm, I want to fix my column. I want to increase the column. Okay, let me do that after creating the table. So the table is going to look like this as a matter of fact, right? Uh, the next thing I want to do is to go to layout. I want to increase the height. Okay, so first of all, uh, oh, sorry. So let me redo Control Y. So let me select the whole table first of all and go to layout and then start increasing the, uh, the height, okay, of the rows, right? Height of the rows. And then let me, de let me decrease the, the width okay also so just to look like what we have right there okay so at least it looks close to what we have in the question right good so uh we've saved that as ta task 13 e all right so let me save my changes save that and that's about it so thank you for this i will see you in the next one bye